Hello friends, I am so glad you decided to tune in and push play today. This is the most important part of your day to move your body, build those strength and endurance goals. Um, if you haven't warmed up already, go ahead and check out my 10 minute total body warm up and then come back and we'll go ahead and start here. For today's workout, you won't need any equipment besides a mat, a towel if you tend to sweat a lot, make sure you have water, and other than that, you should be all set. Some of the muscles we're gonna to work today, this is a total body sweat session, about 15 minutes long. We're gonna get our glutes, our, our glutes, our quads, hamstrings, calves, abs, chest, shoulders, and back. All of it will only take us 15 minutes. There's two blocks. Each block has six exercises, which we'll either repeat for 45 seconds or 10 repetitions. So, without further ado, we'll go ahead and get started. Make sure you start your watch so you can track this, this workout. And we're gonna start with squat jacks. All you're gonna wanna do is make sure that when you squat down that your knees are tracking over your toes, your toes are pointing forward, and then as you jump up, knees up, arms up, and then come down, okay? We're gonna do this for 45 seconds and time starts in three, two, and one. <clears throat> in the squat position. And we're just gonna do this for 45 seconds. If you want to modify, you can just simply step it out, come up and step it out. Otherwise, stay in this squat position and we're gonna keep going until time. 15 seconds left. You guys are doing great. You have 10 seconds. Five, four, three, two, and one. Good job, come up. We're gonna go right into to the floor, we're gonna do scissor kicks, and this is where you're want, gonna want your mat. All right, you want back flat, palms facing down, bring your legs up, you can have a slight bend, and what you're gonna wanna do, is keep one leg up, one close, heel close to the ground, and you're just gonna alternate sides for 45 seconds. Make sure you draw in that core to prevent any low back arching, we're gonna do this for 45 seconds, and time starts in three, two, and one. It's okay if you have a slight bend. Try and get that heel as far as to the ground as you can without resting it on the floor. Really draw in that core. You don't want your back to arch. Keep those shoulder blades down. Have about 10 seconds. Keep going, you guys are doing great. And five, four, three, two, and one. Excellent job. Okay, we're gonna stay down on the ground, but we're gonna come up and we're going to go right into push-ups. Um, to modify, you can stay on your knees, kind of cross your ankles, make sure your um, wrists are directly under your shoulders, and then go down and back up. If you're not going to modify, come into a plank position. Same thing, head and neck in neutral spine, and, uh, wrists directly under your shoulders. We're, gonna go do, we're going to do 10 reps, and we go in three, two, and one, two, three, four, five, halfway there, six, seven, eight, two more, nine, and ten. Excellent job. Bring those knees down. Now we're going to stay on the floor, but we're going to go back to our back. And we're gonna go right into bicycle crunches. So, anchor your fingertips by the side of your head. 
You wanna extend one leg, keep the other one bent to the 90 degree angle, and then you're gonna cross over to the opposite knee and alternate sides for 45 seconds. And time starts in three, two, and one. Make sure you keep that core tight and don't strain your neck. You're not pulling on your head. Keep those elbows wide. Halfway there. You guys are doing great. Stay in it. You got this. I'm in it with you. 15 seconds. That's nothing. And we have five, four, three, two, and one. Bring it down. Excellent. Okay, we are just moving right along. Um, we're going to now come back onto our stomachs. We're gonna work our back. And we're going to extend um, our hands out above our head and activate our legs. We're gonna keep our gaze about two feet in front of us and we're gonna alternate opposite arm leg. So right arm, left leg. And we're just gonna pretend like we're swimming. Really keep a tight core and really activate those glutes. This is a great exercise for your back. We're gonna do this for 45 seconds and time starts in three, two, and one. Remember alternating sides, opposite arm to leg. Try not to hyperextend your lower back <clears throat> or even overactivate your legs. You guys are doing great. Keep that gaze just a little bit out in front of you. You have 10 seconds. And five, four, three, two, and one. Fantastic. Okay. This is the last movement of this block or this set, and they're just gonna be scissor jumps. So I am going to just move my mat aside for a second. You're gonna be in a lunge position. So front knee back in a 90 degree angle, left leg back, or but you're the leg behind you also needs to be bent. And as you come up, we're going to jump up, switch in midair, and then come down. We're going to continue that movement, alternating sides for 45 seconds. And time starts in three, two, and one. So, knee 90, 90, up, down. Yes. Switch midair, and you can swing your arms to give you that momentum. You can do it. Twenty seconds left. Ten. And we have five, four, three, two, and one. That'll get your heart rate. Okay, fantastic job. We're gonna take a 30 second rest, grab some water, towel off, walk around. Before we go right back into our second block. Okay, so glad you guys are here. I was sick last week and then we went on spring break for my kids at school. And so this is a little tough for me. 
Getting back into it, I had a rough respiratory thing, so I'm definitely feeling it in my lungs. But if I can do it today, you can do it today. All right, we're gonna go right back into this for our second block. Remember, we started with those squat jacks for 45 seconds. So, we're gonna go right into it, and time starts in three, two, and one. Remember, knees over toes. We're making great time. seconds. Keep going. I know it burns. That's what we want. And we have five, four, three, two, and one. Good job. Okay, remember we're coming down to the ground. Grab your mat. We're going to be on our backs. We're going to go into those scissor kicks. So remember, draw in that core, palms facing down, uh, legs like so, alternating sides. And we go in three, two, and one. Make sure you're trying to like glue those shoulders to the ground. Keep that back from arching and it's okay if you have a slight bend in the knee. If you don't, good for you. And we're trying to get those heels as close as we can to the floor. About 15 seconds left. Keep going, you guys are doing great. And 10, five, four, three, two, and one. All right, don't get up yet. We're gonna stay on the floor, but we're just gonna switch around. We're gonna go right into those push-ups. Remember, we're doing 10, 10 reps. You can modify and be on your knees or stay in a, uh, start in a plank position. And we go in three, two, and one. One, two, three, Four, five, six, seven, eight, two more, nine, last one, and ten. Excellent job, drop those knees. Okay, now we're gonna go back to our backs. We're gonna go to those bicycle crunches. Remember, you're not straining, pulling on your neck, you're just anchoring your fingertips on the side next to your ears by your head. Keep those elbows wide. We're going for 45 seconds and time starts in three, two, and one. Really drawing that core. Keep those elbows wide. Halfway. Fifteen. And we have five, four, three, two, and one. Come down. All right, we're on to our last move. Actually, we have two more. Sorry, two more. We're kind of going back and forth from front to back. We're going to go into the swimmers. So remember, we're down on our stomachs, arms extended above our head, gaze is down, glutes are activated, and we're just alternating legs as we swim. We're going to do this for 45 seconds, and time starts in three, two, and one. This 
is going to feel this more than you think. Keep swimming. Really activate those glutes. Bring out that chest up off the floor. 15 seconds. And we have five, four, three, two, and one. All right, come up. We're gonna move our mat aside now. This is our last movement of this second block. We're going to do those, um, what are they called? Yeah, scissor jumps. So remember, we're starting in a lunge position. We're gonna use those arms to get us up and then um, alternate midair, come down on the opposite leg. We're gonna do this for 45 seconds. And time starts in three, two, and one. Really helps to use those arms. It's more than halfway. Keep going. About 10 seconds left. You got this, don't give up. We do not quit. Five, four, three, two, and one. Woohoo! awesome job. All right, take a few seconds to breathe and let that heart rate come down. While we do that, just gonna remind you to go ahead and subscribe if you like what you're doing and involved with as I post every week. You don't wanna miss out on the videos that are gonna help build you with strength, endurance, confidence, all those things. So, till next time, also don't forget to cool down. Um, make sure you stretch it out. Do those things that are gonna help keep you on the way to reaching your goals. Until then, We'll see you next time.